G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, Brian and I have just come back from a pretty awesome trip to the Mackerel Islands with the Perth Game Fishing Club. Um, so we had a fantastic time, we caught lots of fish despite the weather. It was uh, quite windy. But I did want to talk to you guys about a technique that we found super effective in the shallow water which is where we were limited to fishing a lot of the time. And it's already been covered a lot by uh, a lot of other people out there but it's using vibes and soft plastics things like coral trout and even red emperor. I'll roll some footage of some fish that we caught. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. And then right at the end of this, I'll uh, talk you guys through what we used, why we used it and how we used it and you know everything in between to catch some pretty epic fish. Set him. There we go. Oh, oh big cod just came up and ate him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that scared fun. me just a little bit. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, it's red. It's a trout. Oh, Aiden with the trout. Oh, yep. Oh, did someone order another one? That's too small, I reckon, but someone ordered it. Look at that thing. Fat trout, absolute football. Yeah, it should be down the back. Oh. Yes, come on, get up. Get up here, I know what you are. Ha <laughs> ha, get in. Oh, no. Just on the way down. Oh, oh that's big. <laughs> that might be a G. No, it hasn't done shit yet. <laughs> get, get him in? No, I pulled him. It's just dead weight. I reckon it was a cod. What do you know? Little trouty. Get off my vibe, please. See ya, mate. This vibe gets clunked, but I'm missing a lot of hits. Oh, I, oh I like that one. Head shakes, I like it. Oh, nope, there you go, it's small. What is this? It's heavy, no fight. Sideways cod. Oh, what is that? Little trigger or something. Oh, I'm a 
again. That's okay as well. Might be another little trout. Oh, good one. Come on. Bloody oath. That's uh, legal, that one. Just grab the, uh, grab the Vertrex there. Not bloody bad. Not bad at all. Look at that thing. Shallow water trout action. That's it, I'm necking him now. Oh, come on. Little trout. No, Emperor. What is he? Blue line or a spango? Is that a blue line? It is too. Blue line on the vibe, quite tasty. He's gone in the esky. Aiden's eating a sausage. A couple of good fish happening around here. Good work, boys. That's no mug of a rod. Oh, we got a bit of line. Oh, other way. Up. Alistair, come under. Come under. There you go. Oh, that did something. Yeah. Now. Is it away now? Can't see. No. Just keep bringing them up. It's probably loosen off the drag so the braid doesn't cut. The same. Maybe it's the same fish. The same drag, <laughs> same line, it should be okay. Fingers crossed. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We got one fish. No, there's two fish. Oh, one's a red, one's a red. Here, here, grab this, grab this, grab this. Watch out. One's a good red. Holy. Oh, look at the double. Oh, there's a red. There's a trout. Oh, baby! Oh! Oh, he's been done! Get him up! Get him up! Oh, far out! I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble here. That's a red, I reckon. Nah. Oh, it's not a small fish. Red, big red, big red, big huge red. Oh, <laughs> on the vibe. <laughs> Easily my PB red, not even close to my previous one. Far out. Yeah. What the hell just happened? What? Oh, and a cheeky little other red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Far out. Oh, look at the colours, hey. That is mandarin. Oh, and a trout. Oh, oh, oh baby. What up, boys? What? <laughs> Mackie's at its best, hey. Shallow water, 15 metres. 15 yeah, metres. Let's show it at the camera. Way, hey. <laughs> Colour! <laughs> well done, mate. That's well a done. bit of colour. Look, um, 
I don't want to hear anything uh, about, you know, I don't do anything for the cause, trying to get good photos and good video with the hooks in with the fish, because um, this, because this happens. That was hook in with a good 10 kilo plus red attached. So yeah, I don't want to hear it. I did it for you. So this style of fishing is not only applicable to, to up north. You can still use it down here. You can use it for dewy, snapper, you know, everywhere up to that kind of 60 meters if you get a good glass out day and can get one of these lightly weighted presentations down. You know, the, the biggest of these Vertrexes, for example, are 100, 105 grams. Yeah, 105 grams. So that's enough in a dead glass out to get you to the bottom and, and entice a bite. In terms of the, the setup I was using there, it's not what I'd call the ideal vibing soft plastic setup for, for that approach. Um, it really is my stick baiting setup, that 6000 Twin Power SW with a P4 Ocean's Legacy Focal. Um, so that's the rod there, there's the reel. The reel can be applicable, but I think the rod was a little bit, it was fine, it like caught some fantastic fish. It worked the lures I was surprisingly well, but it is a true stick baiting rod and probably a little bit heavy for that application which I was using it, but it's what I had handy at the time. The rods that I would recommend as specialist for this kind of fishing would be the P3 Ocean's Legacy Cloud 9. That would be my choice in that same price, price bracket. Or a little bit cheaper, Shimano Zodius. These things pack an absolute punch for their rating. Um, so that's the 270 Heavy, and they've got a heap of ground behind them, an absolute heap. So these, you can match them to a four or 5,000 spinning reel and like your, one of your standard spinning reel ranges where they go up to a maximum of 5,000. Um, such as little Shimano Stratic there, the 5000 the FL. But alternatively, if you have a rod like this, where it's a little bit beefier, it might also match a saltwater reel, like five, 6,000, or even a 4,000 in, in some of the ranges that have them, like the Twin Powers and Stellas. One like that, that's what I got. In terms of lure selection, um, I'll go through the vibes. And I was pretty hesitant, kind of. I brought a few vibes with me on the trip, not really planning to use them, hadn't done a lot of it before. And obviously I've, I've heard all the hype like you guys have about it. Um, and I thought, you know what, might give it a go. The fish were a little bit, a little bit cagey. They were eating the baits, but a little hit and miss. So wax some of these on. And yeah, they loved it. I think part of that is that not only do they want to eat it, when they're not feeding, it just buzzes around in their face and annoys them to the point where they eat it out of, well, basically hit it out of aggression um, and you get the hook up that way. So they don't need to be like highly active to, to want to eat one of these. Um, these are one that I'll probably give a go next time I try this style. Samaki Vibalicious. Got some sick colors there. Like this one looks exactly like one of those, um, those Hussa or Spanish flag, I think. Something like that. But the other style, and this actually worked really well as well, was casting around soft plastic. So, you know, five to seven inch kind of paddle tails and jerk shad plastics are perfect. And you just want to have a range of jig heads handy to match to the drift speed and um, the depth of water, all of those kind of things. And also the subtlety of your presentation, bearing in mind a lighter jig head will, will give you that slower sink rate. And uh, if the fish are a little more cagey, uh, they might be enticed by a slightly lighter weighted offering. So in terms of a range of jig heads, you can pretty much have everything from a, a quarter ounce um, 5.0 all the way up to, you know, three, even a four ounce um, 7.0, 8.0. Um, I generally match the hook size to the size of the plastic. So for example, a five inch like that, I might put a, a 5.0 through um, and then 7.0 on a 7, that's the general rule of thumb. Uh, another good one that's fallen on the floor. Go get. It's the Halco Mad Eye Paddle Prawns. These are very, very good and last quite a long time. You notice I've chosen quite a few Z Mans and, and Paddle Prawns because they stand up to a lot of those trigger fish and other things you get up there that really love to chew through soft plastics. You would have seen in the, in the footage that I rolled through earlier as well. A lot of the times, because we had a very quick drift, even though it was only 10 to 15 metres deep, had to cast a long way ahead of the drift. So you drift back on to where your vibe or soft plastic has sunk down. You can work it, work it vertically for a time. 
And then once it gets too far out the back again, you just repeat that process. And that way you're keeping in contact properly with your vibe all the way through. And you're not likely to get snagged or busted off by a fish. These, um, these fish up north and the terrain you're fishing for them in uh, is brutal. Um, hence, 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, fluorocarbon has a couple of big advantages over mono in terms of it's more abrasion resistant. And if you're fishing in clearer, shallower water, um, it is more invisible in water than a uh, traditional mono. Mono reflects light. This one, fluorocarbon, just passes straight through. So it is less visible in water to the fish. Two big advantages and, and why I always use fluorocarbon for this kind of fishing. As far as colors go as well, um, you can try natural or I'd, I'd stick with a general rule of white. If you start with white, it's gonna work. Fish just nail white soft plastics. A few others that I've thrown in the uh, the new pilchard there and and uh, a bit of white and pink in that coconut ice. They're two of my favorite soft plastics and you know, a bit of a chartreuse pink head kind of presentation and that white again in um, in the Vertrex is there, another chartreuse. So mixing it up between those those key colors, those pinks and those whites and something natural as well, like, like these couple here you'll have all your bases covered by doing that. As far as mainline goes as well, uh, I would be running somewhere between say a P2 to a P3 braided line. Probably a P3 if I had the choice. Depends what, what rod and reel you're running as well and, and your whole setup. In these kind of tug of war scenarios where you're hooking the fish close to the bottom and they want to get you back in the reef, um, having that extra strength in, in not only your mainline but your leader is really, really handy. So I'll certainly be doing a lot more of this style of fishing uh, now that I've figured out that it does actually work. Um, I was skeptical to start with, but you know, I'm a believer now. I'm a believer. Vibes bloody work. Um, you know, I'll apply this not only to, to up north, but you know, down Perth, deep, the deep south, your harlequin fish, break sea cod, these will all work an absolute treat. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. You've heard that one before. Hope you enjoyed the footage and uh, what was a fish of a fish of a lifetime for me in that big 10 kilo plus red emperor on a pipe. But yeah, I'll um I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers for watching.